Yeah, it is marijuana, isn't it? It's only a question of time before it's legalized. <laughs> this edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com. You know, our intelligence would simply go on in our offspring race. In some cases, perhaps literally, maybe our individual intelligence. Where can the self-respecting employed family of today turn? When I, when I see four or five-year-olds today, I assume that they will not... That I don't look at them and think uh, that's a person with a hundred-year lifespan. I think that's a person with... Their, their personality probably has about a... Uh, two or three hundred year life expectancy and some of them will probably still be around their intelligence will still be around thousands of years from now so I, think, I, mean, so I guess you want to uh, you really want to set a good example for the kids you know even if they themselves don't survive the next two hundred years probably a copy of them will uh, and probably a copy of them will go on after that Steve Egan, in, in one of his science fiction novels, sort of articulated this idea that, you know, well, in the future, everything is uh, infinitely better, and, and, or he said, in the future, everything is far better and infinitely worse. But I think it might be the other way around. I think things will be far worse and infinitely better. We might face another and infinitely more costly Pearl Harbor. You know, the dangers will be greater, the weapons will be absolutely devastating compared to nuclear weapons even. And yet there will be some improvements going on above that that outweigh all, uh, all the bad. Step right up, we got the future in financial transactions right here, get your Bitcoin. That's the history of humanity so far, right? I mean, things now are clearly better than they were in the 1870s. They're clearly better than they were in the 1970s, despite despite all the terrible things the government's done, all the bad new weapons and so forth. Overall, life is just better. This? Yeah, it is marijuana, isn't it? It's only a question of time before it's legalized. <laughs> it's not smack, you know. I don't go for heroin. No, no one goes directly to heroin. Which, which, which of you would even go back to any of that? Anybody want some chuck? Porcupine Christians. Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. Although they don't get that much attention, perfectly normal Christian families are an important part of the Free Stater movement, and pork fest specifically. You'll find a cluster of them at campsites two and four. Drop by if you like. Pork fest is just as accepting of religion as it is of libertines. To learn more, visit Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.